Next up, we have the M106K, the professional graphics tablet. Ooh. This one is marked at $67.99 USD on Amazon. Got your 2048 levels, 10 by 6.25 inches area, 5080 LPI, and 10 millimeter reading height. Again, you have more of the specs on the back of the box. And now the unboxing. Here is the tablet. Got the stylus pen, this one comes with a protective cap so make sure to take that off before you draw. This little nice pouch is where I hide my weed. This little nice pouch contains the extra nibs, quick start guide, and the website for the driver's download. These are the cables. One is to connect the tablet and the other is to charge the stylus. Like the S56K, this also has two programmable buttons. It doesn't have the retractable button at the top, but instead has the charging port. If the light is red, it means it's charging, and is at full charge when the light is off. Connect the USB to the tablet and computer like before. Aside from the two buttons on the pen, you also have 12 additional shortcut buttons on the tablet that you can program. And once you're done drawing, you can slip the pen into the convenient pen jacket on the side of the tablet. So now if you can't find your stylus after you used it last time, it's your own damn fault. And we're back again to the actual usage of the tablet. Uh, just a reminder before you use this tablet, uh, make sure to delete any drivers of previous tablets that you've used. Uh, before this recording, I was using the S56K and I've now deleted that and installed the new driver for this tablet, the M106K. And as you can see, there's a new interface for the tablet settings. In this tab, we have the stylus pen settings. Uh, my pressure sensitivity is at zero right now. Uh, that's how I like it. No, I don't think I'll be changing that. Uh, and you could program the two buttons here, right button, cam can be pretty much any key or any mouse button right now it's um, on whatever default it is I'm not really gonna change that right now you have your uh, keys and hotkeys uh, I mentioned that there were 12 additional buttons there's, but there's actually an extra 16 soft buttons so these buttons are the ones on the tablet on the left side that you can actually press their uh, tactile buttons but these ones are just above the active area of the tablet and if you enable them over here with the enable soft keys you can actually tap them with the stylus on the tablet and it'll apply whatever shortcut you've uh, registered into it so right now these are just the default um but i guess just to test it out you can see that number two is uh, registered as b and for the keys it's this one let's say okay this one's also b Okay, let's change this one to to E, for example. Okay, take out control, make it E. And my shortcuts are E for erase and B for brush. So I'm not gonna apply and test that. Uh, okay, so E for this one. Okay, change to the erase tool. And I'm gonna tap the one. Oh, oh sorry, the two is the brush. And now we can see that it's switched to the brush. And if I want to switch to the erase tool, then I can go ahead and do that. So that's uh, actually pretty great. That, like, with all these shortcuts, the, that pretty much covers every key that I usually press while working. So I'll probably uh, keep working using this tablet and and try to use it without actually using the keyboard. I've I've grown really accustomed to using the keyboard because. Uh, it just feels natural that way, but with all these uh, shortcuts, uh, it would definitely save space on my desk if I don't have to use the keyboard. Seeing as I don't need it right beside the, the actual tablet, that would be pretty convenient. Going back to the uh, tablet settings, if you go to the work area tab, uh, this will be similar to what I mentioned in the S56K with the full area and screen ratio. I recommend going to screen ratio so that the scale ratio of your tablet will match that of the current monitor that you're working on. 
So have that on so your squares will be squares. Uh, hit apply and uh, that should be, yeah, that should be good to go. Um, again, pressure sensitivity working as intended. Good stuff, good stuff. And I guess now I will be drawing my character as a, as a test. Maybe I'll draw something a little different. So uh, what I really like to do in my animations is draw those really like detailed faces. <laughs> I'll, I'll draw my head as normal, just kind of enlarged, but this will just be a close up of like my face, I guess. Kind of reminds me of those, those really crude close ups in SpongeBob. This one definitely feels much more comfortable than the S56K because it, it has a similar gloss texture um, as my Cintiq, so definitely feel more accustomed to this texture. Uh, but you know, I'm still not used to. Well, I've gotten too used to uh, using the the monitor tablet so not looking directly at what I'm drawing at and in instead looking at a screen while I draw uh, is pretty uh, it's kind of like reverting back because that that is how I started off um, uh, when I was still using the genius tablet and then I upgraded to the Yanova and then I switched to the Cintiq a couple years ago so here's the head uh, I guess I'll just draw the neck I'm definitely doing less undos because I feel like my strokes are a little bit more accurate with the size of this tablet. Um, okay, let's see. Well, what face should I draw? Hmm. Probably. Let's let's try a really tired face. That's how I'm currently feeling. Therefore. It'll be much easier to draw because I am you know, empathizing with my drawing. Hmm. Sometimes when I like to draw something more serious, I actually add a nose in my character. But on every other occasion, no nose. Actually, when I draw like these really detailed faces, this is like pretty much the only time I end up using uh, pressure, pressure sensitivity. I like adding multiple chins. You know, they say that the more tired you are, the more chins appear. Let's uh, make my lips a little crusty too. I'm pretty much just making myself age. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> um, let's make my lips have a little bit of color. Yeah, I definitely feel way more accurate with with this pen or with this uh, tablet. <laughs> what is happening? Slowly droop my face. Yes, yes, and uh, just gonna add some shading, which is pretty much just coloring this whole inner crater of my face. Yeah, that'll definitely make me look pretty tired. Pretty much just outline these. I think these are what people call the panda eyes. This is the face of I've seen some shit in my life. <laughs> that look of I've been through some stuff. It's important to uh, develop this kind of uh, personality or this kind of character into your to your life, you know. I think the the hardest thing for me are well, is doing angled lines because normally on on a 
tablet monitor you could just you know tilt <laughs> tilt your head or pretty much tilt the actual tablet um, like it's a piece of paper and you just draw that angle but on a regular tablet like this you have to just you know stay upright <laughs> and draw angles um, the best the best that you can and hope for the best Alright, almost achieving full tired, full done mode. Should add some under the shadow under the lips. Make these lips stick out a bit more. Uh, perfectionist! Okay. Oh god, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. See, I didn't even draw the, the, the eyebrows. It's, that's how tired I am. I just, my eyebrows just did, do not exist. And I'm too lazy to. I'll just draw a big block here. Maybe I'll raise one. Just be like, "Huh? Eh? What do you want? I'm tired." Huh? Eh? Perfect. Awesome. All right. That's. Yes. <laughs> it's actually turned out really good. I should use this face in a future animation. Oh, I didn't really draw yours, but yeah. The, just I just wanted to test out. Um, a more detailed uh, drawing than, than the last one because I, I think the last one was better for sketches you know rough drawings and whatnot uh, this one is definitely fits the name of the more uh, professional drawing tablet hey, this, I this I still consider this one also uh, portable uh, it, it's not flexible uh, like the s56k but uh, it fits easy in a bag it's pretty much it's it's a little bit smaller than the Cintiq yeah, similar dimensions can still fit in, in, in my backpack with like a laptop and whatever. Uh, I'd say that's still pretty portable. You definitely uh, bring less wires because the, the Cintiq you need like all the charging adapters and all that. But this one is just a USB cable. So uh, throw in the tablet, throw in the cable and you're set. You're good to go. So uh, what's my verdict on this tablet? I think it's pretty good. I haven't really... I've only drawn with this for about a week. I only got to play with it for that long and I haven't found uh, any problems as of yet. Uh, I'm not sure if there are any incompatibilities with different uh, programs but uh, I'm pretty sure uh, it's it, it could be troubleshot, troubleshot, troubleshooted um, and their customer service is really great so if you have any problems uh, you could just bring it up to them and they'll try to take care of, it, of uh, any problems that you have. Definitely a good backup if uh, my tablet ends up, you know, not working someday. This this will definitely save the day. Um, this is definitely comparable to uh, the different brands of this size and this type of tablet. I personally haven't tried the uh, Wacom Intuos or a lot of um, the different ones. I, I pretty much only tried the Cintiq and um, yeah, the, the 13 and the, the 22 and 24. So once again, thanks to Galmon for letting me try out these tablets. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helped because a lot of you, I know a lot of you um, are trying to get into uh, more digital art, but you have no idea where to start. And a lot of the, the tablets are there are, are pretty pricey to be honest. And uh, ever since I started, there's actually just so many competitive brands now, um, which is great. It gives you more choices, but there's also more choices that you have to make you know which what's the difference between uh, the different tablets I mean to be honest they're all pretty much kind of in the same boat there's just little things here and there that you might not like maybe it's the texture of the tablet uh, but definitely I think the speed of the setup like the driver downloads and all that this is pretty smooth for for this tablet and same with the s56k so I just that running smoothly and how I've had no problems uh, setting it up I think just it was pretty much plug and play at that point so I really appreciated that so yeah thanks for watching see ya